Osgood Schlotters. It's a really funny name for a very common condition that happens in teens. And uh, it probably is the most common cause of knee pain in teenagers. So right here I'm drawing the knee. And that's the quadricep tendon, which we'll talk about later. And here's the patella tendon. And so this is a side view of the knee. Here's your kneecap here. Here's your upper leg bone, your lower leg bone. These quadricep tendons, the big tendons at the front of your thigh, all gather together and attach to a tendon, the patella tendon, and they insert in this one small little area right at the front of your bone. And um, this bone right here in teenagers, you know, ages 10 to 16, is relatively weak, especially when compared to their growing and developing muscles. So what happens in teens who are really active playing sports, such as running and jumping sports, uh, they develop some pain and swelling over this area here where the patellar tendon inserts. And uh, it's due to a repetitive motion, especially jumping. Um, this tendon tugs at this bone because that's how it works. And over time, you develop inflammation, pain and swelling uh, in this area. And it's usually very localized tending. It hurts right here when you touch. It gets worse with activity when you flex your leg. Uh, when you rest, it gets better. And, you know, this will resolve over time as the bone strengthens, the growth plates close. But this may take months or years depending on, uh, you know, the person. Do you need testing to diagnose this? Not necessarily, but... You know, if the question um, remains, if that's truly what you have, oftentimes people get a, an x-ray, uh, may or may not even show up on x-ray, depending on how bad it is. Um, again, this Osgood slaughter usually resolves without any complication. One of the common things you see with Osgood slaughters is you actually, if the pain and inflammation is there long enough, over time you may actually kind of get this bony knot that develops at the front of your knee, and you'll often see uh, men and uh, teenage boys with this um, knot at the front of the knee, and that's usually what um, happens here. Treatment, well, you know, father time is the best thing. Like I said, if you uh, wait long enough as the growth plates close and the uh, bone strengthens, this will go away. Of course, rest uh, or modified activity. You know, I don't tell people to stop playing sports altogether, but I do say that, you um, if you keep running and jumping, this will hurt. Um, and sometimes if you just kind of back off on that type of uh, forceful activity, this will get better. Um, you can put some ice on it, um, and that will help put an ice right over this area after activity. Uh, of course, Tylenol and ibuprofen can be helpful as well. Uh, you will see people use straps or taping around this part of the knee, um, and that can provide some relief. So that is Oshkosh Slaughters in a nutshell.